Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk to you guys about an affordable spotting scope that I got on Amazon that I've been using for a while now, and it's under 60 bucks, but it gets the job done. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so about four or five months ago, I was contacted by the company that makes this spotting scope right here, Pinty. They said they had this spotting scope on Amazon. It was affordable, it came in at $55, and they wondered if I could check it out and do a review of it. And at the time, I was really busy, so I told them no, but these guys were really persistent, and they kind of stuck to it. So finally, I said, sure, all right, I'll take a look at it. You know, I wasn't really expecting much for $55. Uh, the spotting scope that I typically use still is affordable. It's a Celestron, comes in around 80 bucks, and I like it a lot. But I thought, all right, I'll take a look at it. You know, a lot of people will appreciate something that's affordable out there right now, so I'll, I'll give it a, an honest review. And I've been using this now for probably about three months, and I gotta say, it is absolutely 100% worth the money. I mean, it does the job that you want it to do. It doesn't do anything great, but it does everything really good. So let's go ahead and talk about the features, we'll talk about the specs, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys exactly about the experiences that I've had with it, and whether or not this might be a good fit for you guys. But for 55 bucks, including the tripod, it is kind of hard to go wrong. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is a spotting scope that's 20 to 60 by 60, which means that on its lowest setting, it's 20 times power. On its highest setting, it's 60 times magnification, and it has a 60 millimeter objective lens on it. Now, on the website, this thing says that it's waterproof, fogproof, shockproof, you know, all the proofs, right? Uh, I have never submerged it in water, so I can't tell you if it's actually waterproof, but I have used it in light rain, so I can tell you, at least in my experience, that it's at minimum water resistant. Now, as far as fog proof goes, this is 100% fog proof. Uh, where I live in the desert, we get some pretty good temperature swings between daytime and nighttime. I mean, it could shift 50 degrees very, very easily, and the humidity also shifts quite a bit. So, uh, temperature variations and different things that would cause the internal lenses to fog up, I can tell you that I haven't had that once, and I've been using this since before Christmas, so it's gone through several different temperature swings and, and humidity swings and moisture uh, variations as well, and I never had anything get in there. I've never had water get inside or anything fog up, so I can say that it's definitely fog proof, water resistant, and uh, shock resistant. I haven't dropped this thing. I don't plan on dropping it, but you know, your standard bump in the back of the truck or bump on the table, and it's been perfectly fine. I haven't had any issues with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what you get for your $55. We're going to talk about the glass. We're going to talk about how this thing works and some of the accessories that you get with it because this is a pretty high value optic. I mean, for 55 bucks, you actually get quite a bit. So we'll start off by talking about the lens covers. It does come with lens covers. The front one is a rubber cover that is captured, which is nice. You know you're not going to lose that one. The ocular lens does have a cover as well. It is a threaded hard plastic cover that comes with it, so that's pretty nice. You also get the tripod. And one of the nice things about this tripod, even though it is very thin, it is a metal tripod, which means that it's not gonna be as prone to moving or, or flexing like some of the other plastic tripods that are out there. For instance, the, the Celestron that I used that cost uh, $30 more than this one actually came with a plastic tripod and it has a lot of flex to it. This is a metal tripod and it's actually pretty sturdy. Uh, you can just simply unscrew this knob right here, make your adjustments. You can go ahead and rotate it, move it up and down and so forth. When you get on target, just go ahead and tighten it down like that. And then the tripod does fold up for space or for storage. You can swing this thing forward. So you get the lens caps, you do get a tripod, and then you also get a carrying case. Uh, the carrying case is actually not too bad. It's padded carrying case, and it has two different compartments inside, one for the tripod and one for uh, the uh, optic itself. Now, the way the optic works is on the front of it, on the ocular lens, this is gonna be where you're gonna adjust your magnification. Now, it starts at 20 power again, so 20 times zoom, and then all you do is you simply rotate that uh, uh, lens cover, and it will go from 20 to 60. So let me see here, we have 20, 45, 52, and then all the way up to 60 times magnification. On the side of the optic is where we have our uh, our, excuse me, our focus adjustment, okay? So we have our focus ring, which is located on the side. And I should mention that obviously, if you're gonna be uh, changing the magnification, you're gonna also have to change your focus. It doesn't stay in focus all the way through the magnification range. So if you get it in focus at 20 power and you zoom it all the way out to 60, you're gonna have to refocus, but it's really, it's a really easy to use um, focus ring. I've had some that are just so tight, you have to get right on it in order to get good focus. But this one allows you a little bit of leeway when you're finding that correct focus. So that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and talk about the glass. 
Okay, so obviously the glass is gonna be the most important part of our spotting scope, right? If the glass sucks, then the entire setup sucks. I don't care if it comes with lens covers, a tripod, and unicorn tears. If the glass isn't any good, then it's not gonna be worth using. And I gotta say, I was actually pleasantly surprised with this spotting scope. Again, keep in mind, it comes in at about $55. So you're not gonna get the optical clarity, the color, you know, the HD vision out to 1500 yards like you're gonna get on a lot of these other spotting scopes that cost quite a bit more. But for me and my purpose out to about 660 yards, I have no problem seeing impacts. I have no problem seeing where my round hit my target. 223556, 308, 65 Creedmoor. Uh, I have no problem using this spotting scope out to that range. I've never used it past 660, but uh, in my personal opinion, I think it would be fine maybe out to 1,000. I wouldn't use it past 1,000 because then you're going to be losing a lot of light and it might be a little bit difficult in order to get that perfect focus out past 1,000. But again, for my ranges out to 660, this thing works fine. It works perfect. Uh, the edge clarity isn't that bad. You get really good light transmission, actually surprisingly good light transmission to be honest with you. That does use a prism an optical prism in here. The glass is actually pretty decent. It feels thick. It feels nice. The optical coatings are good. So, um, I, you know, without getting too technical into everything, it's a good spotting scope, especially for the price. And you really can't beat it for $55. Um, the reason that I've actually been using this primarily instead of my Celestron or, you know, Vortex or any other optics is because the ones that I've had in the past have all had the ocular lens that point up like this. And so you have to be standing up and you look down into it and then out at your target. Uh, this one right here, I like the fact that it's sort of in line with the objective lens so that if you're sitting down and you take your shot, you bring your head over, you can look into it like this, see where your impact is, make your adjustments, and then continue shooting. So I do like the fact that, you know, this isn't angled up like some of the other ones that I've owned in the past. Nonetheless, 55 bucks, you get uh, decent glass, you get uh, fog proof protection, you have a, a rubberized uh, housing over a metal optic. So again, it is uh, completely metal underneath here, but it does have this hard rubberized coating on top of it. And you get a pretty good value for your money. And that's one thing that I wanted to share with you guys. And that's why I took so long to make my review. I've been using this for quite a while now. But I think, uh, I think a lot of people would like it. I definitely think for the price point, a lot of people could get behind it. So I'll put a link down below. If you guys are interested, you could check this out. I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.